Hello. Today, I want to talk about something that reminds me of George Michaels, and that's faith. Georgie said, we've got to have it. And he's not the only one. In fact, faith is sometimes the hardest thing to actually grasp. And oftentimes it can be harder to hold on to. There are so many things that come up against us in our lives. For some of us, those are long lives. And there's moments of peace and tranquility and joy and even happiness within those lives. But nonetheless, things happen, circumstances arise, and with a world full of people and full of things, we can feel absolutely alone. Maybe not alone in regards to having no one or nothing near us, but alone in feeling sometimes like we're the only ones that can understand the torment, the tainting, the distaste for carrying on that we have at different moments of our lives. And some of us have those moments for longer periods of time. And I'm sorry. But one thing that I'm really trying to build my confidence in is faith and my faith comes from God now I don't want to turn you off if it's something you don't believe in but I do want to turn you on to a new hope a hope that says it's not this for that or tit for tat treat me well and I will return that favor. Do things that don't push me back and I'll come near. And oftentimes in our relationships with people, even our pets, this is something that occurs. We've got to do good to get good. And similarly, to learning about any discipline, the discipline in faith takes practice. It takes scholarly activities like reading, listening, learning. And as much as I don't know, and that's a lot, I do know that the peace that God promises and provides is the best when it comes to me. Different things have come up in my life. Many things that many of you may have had to deal with, like divorce, sickness, my family members becoming ill or hospitalized. My children having to deal with things that I wish I could take away from them. Combat. Addictions to things that many have written about and said aren't healthy. Schooling. Assignments. Bills. And in all that I've read, and all that I've done, and all that I've seen here on earth, I learn each and every day more about how earthly things do not provide the peace that I need. And so I wanted to just offer as a testimony and offer as a resource some scripture to you, just in case the people 
and the things that you're surrounding yourself with aren't coming through as best as what you'd hope. And so reading from the book of Hebrews, starting in chapter 10, verse 39, it says, But we do not belong to those who shrink back and are destroyed, but to those who have faith and are saved. And so there's that word faith again. I've tried, but I don't feel what I think I should feel when it comes to faith, right? I haven't achieved what it is that I've been basing my faith on. And so then in chapter 11, it goes on to say, Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. And so you're kind of living on the brink when you're in faith. I think sometimes we think that faith is going to provide a substance of positivity because we believe. But the good book tells us that we need to have assurance in what we don't see. And I'm hoping for deliverance from an addiction, but I'm not there yet, right? I'm still smoking cigarettes, you know, and I shouldn't. I'm still drinking coffee at way too much of an alarming rate for my creamer to handle, right? I'm still lusting, I'm still looking. So what is my faith really producing? Well, you gotta remember the faith realized is no faith at all. And so we live in that brink, we live in that circumstance and while living in that circumstance we say I have faith that good things are coming my way and brothers and sisters they are coming your way but you got to practice your faith I'll be doing this as often as I can throughout the day because we know tomorrow isn't promised and my only hope in this extension to you is that maybe you can grab hold of some of that. And you don't have to try to show your faith to anybody else. You don't have to share it with anybody. It can just be yours. Special. What you go to in quiet moments or in noisy places, in hard times, Because it'll build you up and it'll make you stronger. And because you choose to read my posts or to interact with my testimony, I feel it a great privilege to share with you those things that help me. And so I'm asking you to be careful with who you trust in. To be confident in your ability to seek and achieve joy, even in the brink of circumstance. And to be well. USMC! Counselor.